passive motion is shown first. In extension, the ITP appears firmly opposed to the apex of the notch and the central body appears extended. As the knee flexes, the IPP moves away from the femoral articular surface and the central body relaxes and shortens. With further flexion, the IPP has shortened into a relaxed arc. At 90 degrees, the IPP appears linear and vertical. Then the patient was asked to extend and bend her leg. With this active motion, the identical pattern repeats, with the IPP central body unit elongating, accompanied by deformation of the adjacent fat pad. The patient is asked to place the knee in full extension and then to perform a quads set maneuver. She does this hesitantly at first. Ultimately, she gets the idea and a clear movement proximally is seen with further deformation of the fat pad as she does this. This last section shows the effect of releasing the femoral attachment of the IPP. There is minimal distortion of the fat pad as it seems to float over the articular surface. There is remarkable stretch and deformation of the central body and infrapatellar plica. This occurs any time one simply bends and straightens the knee or contracts the extensor apparatus. The stretch and distortion of the infrapatellar plica is abolished when the plica is released.